Yo, what is going on everybody? Cole Otterman with you here today. So I want to talk about some trading cons that no one really talks about, right? Everyone always talks about trading is so great, it's so amazing, you can make so much money, uh, the dream life. And yeah, while that's possible, there's so many cons that when it doesn't work out and when you're struggling to see success, it can just be so tough, so tough. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop into it. Let's talk about it. And honestly, this is something that I really get upset that more people don't talk about this. I don't even know if there's any videos on the cons of getting into trading. Um, it's one of those industries where, yeah, you can make a bunch of money and you don't even have to day trade. You can swing trade, you can do option plays and sell options and build a massive account, but it's a double-edged sword. You can make a lot of money, you can also kind of lose everything and really not be in a good spot. Um, so with that being said, let's just hop into it and let's talk about some trading cons. All right guys, so the first trading con is that trading is so stressful. Like, I don't know another industry where it's as stressful as trading is. And I run a wholesale business. And while that's stressful, I never really feel that stress. Like there's little fires that need to be put out every now and then. But in trading, whenever you're in a trade, you're basically stressed, winning or losing. Like you can be down a thousand bucks, be super stressed. You can be up 3000, be super stressed because I'm trying to get out. It's a, it's a tricky situation. And while just life in general is stressful, trading is just that to the nth degree, right? Like it, it's just, it's just stress on steroids basically. Um, but I mean, again, the more experience that you get, the better that you can actually deal with stress. And I think it's one of those things where it happens a lot more at the beginning and over time it just kind of depletes because you know what you're doing, you've been here before, you've had a terrible day and realized that, okay, it's not the end of the world, I'm going to be able to make it back. So that's one of the bad things about trading, but also can be fixed with just some experience and some time. Now, you can lose a bunch of money when you day trade. Like, this is not something to joke about, to take lightly at all. Most people lose every single dime that they put in their trading account. Like, if someone puts in 500 bucks or 50,000, and they're a beginner, they will probably lose all of it. And that that's not cool, that's not something to joke about. And that's what sucks because that money that they just lost, even if it's, you know, even 500 bucks, thousand, 2,000, 5,000, that you could buy a car with that money. You could go on vacation. You could pay, you know, a couple months rent with that. And you just lost it clicking some buttons. That is crazy right? Like that is so wild. And that is one of the things that sucks is that, you know, yes, you can lose a bunch of money in just regular business or just anything, right? Just spending money, you can lose that money. But in trading, you lose it by literally clicking buttons. It's not like you just bought 10 pairs of shoes with that money. And now you have the shoes that you can also go and resell. It's gone. Like, when your account goes from 5,000 to zero, it's done. You There's no other way to make money with it. So that's one of the things that sucks. I see so many people, I mean, obviously like the majority, 90, 95% that blow their account in 30 days, not even. And I remember it took me on my first account. Now, granted, this was like a complete joke, uh, but it took me not even, a, not even like 24 hours to blow it and that was on MetaTrader 4 in 2019 and I was also following signals but you just see like how dangerous that can become and also the money that you lose can go to way better things 
like the th- I think what people really struggle to see is just blindly throwing money in your trading account is not something that you should just be like happy to do. Having to replenish your trading account should be like super painful. Like you don't want to lose this money. Losing money in trading, while yes, it's a learning lesson, it's not something you should really feel great about. You should know what you did wrong, but if you're a beginner and this is your fourth or fifth account replenish, you have to realize, yo, I might have to quit this soon because I will not have enough money to keep going. And it's not reinvesting in day trading. It's not a thing, you're just losing money. And again, the money that you lose can go to bills, um, learning a high income skill, just just so many better things. Taking, taking your family to a nice dinner, taking your girlfriend to a nice dinner, buying her presents. You can just do so much more with the money that you lose than just losing it and pretending like, oh, it's just market tuition. Well, yes, it is for like the first couple times. Anything after that, you're really just teetering on the edge of like pure gambler. And so that can also lead into depression and addiction because if you're losing money all the time, you're not seeing success. You started, you have a net worth of 10 grand, you put two grand in your account each time, and that just implodes, 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 implodes. Now you only have, you know, 2000 a $1,000, or not even $1,000 left. I mean, you could have literally spent nine grand on a lot better things, and actually had something to show for it. And I feel like the depression and addiction does happen a lot more in the sports betting realm because there's really not an actual edge there. You literally cannot create an actual strategy. Uh, So I feel like that's a lot more just pure gambling. Um, So that's why I feel like there's more of like an addiction and depression issue with that. But 100%, there can be depression and addiction that comes up um, in trading. Like 100%. Um, it doesn't feel good to lose money. It literally does not feel good at all to lose money, to just light money on fire. And again, like if you just think that, like, wow, I just burned nine grand, I could have gone on a vacation, paid off my debts got a new computer, did this, t- take a something class, uh, buy stuff for my family, like all of that, but you just put it in a account and just literally lit it on fire. That That, that is, it, it's so bad, it, it's so bad. And I know that it's so tough to get over the hump of just knowing what you're doing. And it took me, about six months to really, really get that. Uh, granted, for for actual trading, I never like really struggled. Uh, it was actually very interesting. My just start. Uh, really, I don't even think I lost more than like a grand or two. Um, but I was also only trading with like a small amount of money. And then once I deposited more, and not losing, but just deposited more to be able to make more, everything just switched. But anyways, guys. Depression and addiction is so just common, honestly, in trading. Uh, And if you struggle with that, just let me know, just uh, privately on Instagram, and I can try to help you because it it seriously sucks. And you see all the ads for um, the gambling hotline and all that kind of stuff. Don't be one of those people. Um, And you have to know when to just call it quits. Like that, there there is a certain point where you probably, if if the expected value of you actually seeing success and making money isn't higher than the expected value of you just losing money and continuously just blowing money left and right and not actually succeeding, just stop. Just stop, take it as a lesson, this isn't for me, write it up in the books and just forget about it. Like, you don't have to 
throw your whole life into trading. There's so many other things that you can do. Uh, trading is just one little thing. And honestly, I don't even think it's the best thing to do. Uh, in my opinion, just running any sort of business, you can make the same. It depends what business, but you can make the same or way more um, than you can with trading. But obviously trading you can also make five grand in three minutes. It's a little bit harder to do that with a business. So there, there's just pros and cons. Now, another thing is that you won't really be taken seriously uh, if you say that you're a day trader online or just in person. And the way that I've basically done it is obviously I have like a YouTube channel. I don't really care what people say about that. But if, you, if you're at like some meetup or something or you're just talking with someone, there is no reason to bring up that like you're a day trader. Even if you're like the most professional one out there, there's just no point. People don't actually know how it works, what you're doing. Um, I don't, like people always say, oh my God, it's so risky. It's like, it's really not. At this point, like the worst case scenario is basically just breaking even and just wasting time. Um, so it's not that big of a deal, but just uh, so many people just love to just hate on it. And rightfully so. I mean, most of the people that have I think honestly a lot of people have tried it and just failed at it and uh, don't stick it out for multiple years to know you know just the inner workings of the market but um, yeah just don't really go around telling people that oh I'm a day trader because it just doesn't really matter and quite frankly like everyone at the end of the day kind of is like a trader if you're like invested in stocks or whatever like everyone kind of does it but like no one really wants to actually talk about it unless you're at like a real trading meetup or talking with someone else that does the same exact thing, same exact way of trading, then that's cool. Um, but it's just pointless. No one really cares. And yeah, people just don't actually know how it works. And uh, yeah, you just won't really be taken that seriously. Uh, and the last con that I can say is that there's not really any transferable skills. Um, I think that like, yeah, you can improve your discipline, your psychology, um, kind of like mindset, uh, maybe like analytical skills, quick thinking. But as far as like, I'm trying to think like anything that's not business related, I don't think there's any sort of transferable skills. Um, and if it is in business, I mean, there's just not any transferable skills. It's not like you learned how to do Facebook or Google ads or uh, learned how to network or learned how to, I don't know, just, just do stuff, right? Just learn stuff. You don't really, you can't really take trading knowledge anywhere outside of the markets. Like it's super, super hard. And that's one of the things that sucks because if you spend a year, two years, I mean, even just a couple months on learning trading and let's say you don't do it anymore. I mean, that's two years, even if you made money, but like that, that's two years that you could have been, you know, having a painting business or a landscaping business and been able to transfer over a customer service skill and a networking skill to another business but in trading that's like not even a thing at all uh so yeah i mean this is basically just i don't know six or seven um cons that i could think of uh of trading i mean i know i could say like yeah it sucks that like the best times to trade are 9 30 to 10 30 or 11 and it kind of sucks that like you always have to be there at 9.30 to 11. You always have to pretty much be at your desk to place trades, to look at trades, executing on mobile. Guys, don't do it. That's not a good thing to do. So you always gotta be just kind of landlocked, even though it does give you freedom. Uh, it really does. And yeah, you can make a bunch of money. Um, you can make a bunch of money in a short amount of time, but then like, 
once that's made, like it's not like you can just keep making five thousand, yeah, like five grand every two minutes or something. Uh, but yeah, so that's just the majority of the trading cons that I've been able to think of. And I'm gonna obviously make a video on trading pros just to match this. Uh, but I think everyone already knows the pros of trading. I mean, everyone talks about them, uh, but no one actually talks about the cons of trading. And quite frankly, I think that's like way worse and way more people need to actually know what they're getting into um, before they start. But yeah, guys, uh, appreciate you watching to the end of the video. That's awesome. Um, just so you guys know, I do respond to every comment in the first hour of the video upload, and I do respond to every single DM. I've never missed a DM. So if you have any trading questions, business questions, just anything you want to talk about, just hit my DMs on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, just keep paying attention to the channel. Um, keep learning. Just keep keep growing. Keep crushing. And uh, See you guys in the next video.